Sky, episode 3, SY-13-12, part 1, take 1. Simmons here, Stanton Gurney. A collator, please. Hello. Yeah, we've got a lad here, could be a runaway. Say nothing as usual. Late teens, 5'10, slight build. Collar length, fair hair, pale complexion, and uh, blue eyes. Breaking the salt so far. Oh, he looks as like he's dumped his own clothes. Yeah. That right, Arby? Hmm? Yeah. How would you check uh, hostels, training corrective centres, remand homes, the lot? Yeah. yeah. I say he'd been on the run since last night. That right, son? I still not saying anything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, Cheers then. Thanks. Right. Well, uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, while I take a statement, I think you ought to know. Oh, I'll take yours in a minute, Mr. Briggs. Yes, of course, of course. We will carry on. Carry on. Right then, son. Uh, sit down. Sky. That's some sort of nickname, is it? Sky? Oh, come on, no. There's nothing to be afraid of. Why should I be afraid? Uh. What were you after? At the school? Hey? What were you after? Knowledge. Watch it. Look, there's no need to make it out on yourself. What's your name? Where'd you come from? And what are you doing here? That's all we want to know. It does not concern you what my name is. Or where I have come from. Or where I am going. That's more like it. <laughs> Bit of cooperation. Uh, collator, please. Oh, it's Simmons again. You can forget about that ID on the lad. It's all been sorted out. I can deal with it. Assault? All blown up from nothing. Yeah, I can deal with it here. Cheers, then. Uh, Mr. Briggs. Uh, Major. Major Briggs. Right, uh, far away, Sergeant. And you claim the young man here assaulted you? Yes, definitely. With a weapon of some kind? 
Looks look like a damn great iron bar. Hmm. Whereabouts, Major Briggs? He must have hit you with something. Didn't you see? It's completely unprovoked. Then ring my solicitor. I should. Where are you off to? Uh, I'll put the bike away. Stay away from next door. Okay. At least until that young hooligan's out of the way. They agreed to take him in, I'll never know. Lucky there, lads. What, just till tomorrow, is it? I must go. Oh, no. It's, it's not that. It, you, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Yeah. That's right, isn't it, Joe? Yeah. The bricks don't like it, he knows what he can do. Damn, it's all right. He's not here, is he? Dad, the breathing's gone all funny. Well, what are we going to do? If I could get my arms on him, I'd... Concussion. You must get her home. But you're not supposed to move him. You must get her home. There's been an accident. Not Roy. No, no. Uh, telephone? Yeah, yes, go, go ahead. Don't mind you. No, 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 no. Anyone hurt? It's Joyce. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Some damn fool stepped out right in front of us. Uh, the Dr. Marshall, Joe Venner here. It's the wife. So. Uh, Dad must have it. He must have. Bloke didn't stand a chance. Where was he? Why couldn't we find him? You know, don't you? Well? It was not a man you saw. What do you mean? I told you. Is this it, then? It is the force against me. Made manifest. But why our mum? You are all in danger. How is she, Dad? Doctor says she should have come round by now. Is 
out the doctor's car next door? Yes, it's been an accident. Mrs. Venner. Could have been you, you know. Where have you been? The school. The what? Well, you said he hit you with something. I told you to keep out of this. I'm only trying to help. Well, don't. Did you, uh, find anything out? No, not really. should be here by now. It takes a good 20 minutes, Dad. Not if you come round the bypass. Oh, it's just as long on a Saturday. Not if you cut through Clay Hill. You can't, because it's one way now. Well, don't argue all the time. Dad! now. It'll get here when it gets here. Don't worry. <laughs> Mum! Oh. Who are you? Joyce. Dr. Marshall. What? Oh, there was Tony to have got you out. Not at all, Mrs. Venner. It's best to be sure, you know. Now you come and sit down. Joyce. No, don't, don't worry and don't say anything. Oh, that's good. Mrs. Venner, do you remember the accident? Well, I... I... I remember a swerving and, and me grabbing the door. What are you all staring at me like that for? That'll be the ambulance. What? Whatever for? You've been unconscious for some time, Mrs. Venner. Never. And I think you should have a few x-rays. You was out cold, love. Now come along. That's right. I have, I have had a wash and they haven't had their teas not enough. Right, and then, and then we, we got a guess that friend of it's yours It's all right, love. It's all right.
do, John? John, don't you remember Ambrose? Ambrose, good child. Ambrose, but, but uh, they told me, uh, they told me that you were... Uh, Did were, they? <laughs> me? <laughs> of course I, I, I didn't believe them. What, uh, old Ambrose dead? <laughs> what did you say? How, how long ago is it, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, a drink. <laughs> Gently. I'll go upstairs and read. Okay? Yes, fine, fine. Yes, well, uh, <laughs> Ambrose, eh? Yes, well, well. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> well, uh, cheers, cheers. Chin, chin. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, what, uh, what brings you down these parts, then? An investigation, John. Oh, well. The law has been broken. Hmm. There is an intruder. He must be dealt with. plonked on us, hasn't it? Suppose we tell him. We should. All right, we do. We tell him. It's not as if he wanted to stay here. What's this Dugan at, then? I don't know. Sounds daft. This boss he keeps on about, is it human or something? It's manifest. So he said. for x-rays. What do you want then? Nothing. Hmm? I went back to the school. So? Well, there was a bloke down there in the library. Who was he? He was nosing, I expect, like you. Anyway, the thing is, he's turned up at our place. Dad seems to know him. So? Well, he's a weird sort of bloke. Ambrose Goodchild. <laughs> <laughs> Ambrose? You wouldn't laugh if you saw him. Why? What does he look like?
Um, sorry. What was it? I don't know. It says it's some sort of force. Force? So he thinks tried to smother him, living things. This good child is part of it. Eh? Well, never mind. Can you get your father's car? To get him to a hospital! Come on, hurry up. 